looking for your cyber hunk? Try the state-funded dating site to find your algorithmically chosen life partner. This is Octomagic. Hello everyone, my name is Blair and I I, I tricked you. Ha 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 ha. I'm I'm such a wily little scamp. That's right, we're playing We Know the Devil again. Whoa. D yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna do a new run. We're gonna get a different ending, and it's gonna be great. Uh, what, what does this button do? Let's fast forward. Um, yeah, so we have experienced all of this already, right? You know, t talking about stuff and people and things. And how they're all cool, right? Um, so yeah, I guess let's just zoom forward to the next, uh, the first choice, right? So last time we went with um, Venus and Neptune, right? But this time, we're going to do the opposite of what we did last time. So we're going to go with Venus and uh, Jupiter? Yeah, Jupiter. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's been it's been a few days since I um, recorded the last session. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to have to get back into the groove of these voices and characters. Uh, okay. Uh, stay! Where you going? Stay! The bonfire captain said. Stay! Come on, guys. Why are you all such idiots? Why do you think we're going to be as stupid as you are and believe the stupid things you are saying? <laughs> Fucking damn, Neptune. Why are you unable to follow basic instructions or hear things that people say? Group South turns around. Hey, Neptune. Hey, Neptune. <gasps> hey, Neptune. You are exactly as ugly as each other. It's scarily accurate. How long did you have to practice to coordinate that? <laughs> Damn, Neptune's just fucking murdering these dorks. Ugh. I am truly in awe that it's possible for you all to have done this every single day of the month. Oh, for a month. Okay, so this is like a month-long summer camp. That's good to know. I was so sure one day you were going to slip up and one of you would be accidentally identifiable, but consider me defeated. As expected of our top group this year, though. I thought that I was underestimating, but I am so deeply ashamed of myself for doubting you for even. Uh, Neptune dies out by the time we reach the next siren. She'll be okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should go check, though? It's fine. Uh, we get to the siren and we do the thing. Jupiter pushes up Venus, uh, and he climbs up to get the switch at the top. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm. I'm really sorry. I know, I know. I really don't like them. Uh, they're kind of fuckers. <laughs> uh, they're, they're very popular, though. You think so? Man, I don't like them. Does anyone really like them? Um, uh, no, not really. Not even the captain likes them. Uh, they like you, though, don't they? I guess. I don't know. Actually, I don't think they do. Sometimes they're a little bit funny. Uh, but I don't actually like their humor too much. This sounds weird, but I kind of hang out with them so they'll leave me alone? Maybe that doesn't make sense. No, it kind of does. Uh, no, it kind of doesn't. Haha, <laughs> jeez. I kind of knew you'd say that. You know how sometimes kids bully each other because they don't know how to say they like someone? Uh, 
like, yeah, a little. I always thought that maybe they also had to hate you a little to do that, though. Haha, <laughs> see, you get it. <laughs> uh, but I wish they'd leave me alone. Or I guess I meant more like, that sucks. And I wish we didn't have to, or that I could talk to them and they wouldn't hate me. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's really not working out for me, either. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, it does a little. Mm, the road th Yeah, uh, so... If it wasn't clear, I'm gonna zoom past a lot of the, uh dialogue and stuff that we've already experienced to get to the the new things um it was good boys but not did we read this <laughs> um um it's it's fine it's it's fine oh they're looking at the uh shitty yeah okay okay um I forget what they're doing. Yeah, here's the log. Okay. Um. Uh, right, so it seems that, um, Right, the, the thing was broken, right? Like, the group or whatever. Um, so let's go with... Um... Yeah, these two. I guess I'll come. Venus, plug my phone in. Oh, cool. I mean, if you're that in... I mean, if you're that insistent, I don't want to look like a jerk by saying no. Ha <laughs> ha, rad. Are you good, Venus? Yeah, I'll unpack. Holler if you need anything. Ooh. These are nice. Ah, uh, this place looks like it was a greenhouse once, but at some point it was filled with furniture, like someone tried to live here and gave up, or died because it was a fucking greenhouse. Uh, there was a bed that was probably very nice, now it is growing to poppies. And blue mushrooms are growing out of a lampshade by the nightstand. So we suppose... Ugh, I got the burps. So we suppose the shack is now a greenhouse again. Neptune searches a beautiful, enormous dresser nurturing an ivy with white bell-shaped flowers, while Jupiter brushes leaves away to open the doors of a tasteful kitchen cabinet. Jupiter brushes leaves away to open the doors of a tasteful kitchen cabinet. Right. Uh, there is a new kind of lily in each shelf. Uh, this place is honestly the weirdest. Really? Here, come look. Oh, wow. I'm revising my opinion. Maybe the captain is a true genius. Do you think he did this? I hope not. Then I'd have to like him. Ha. Huh. Oh, here, you should see this one. The wood is warped or rotting, which we knew before she put a... The wood is warp warped or rotting before we knew she put her weight on it, but didn't know well enough, because the door and then half of the cabinet and then the whole cabinet slough away. We pull each other out of the way. The collapse of the cabinet sounds like the wet wood yawning and screaming for a full minute. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Oh no, she's crying! Poor Jupiter. Okay. I'm fine. I was just... For a moment, it was the funniest thing in the entire world. I mean, of course, right? I just walk in here and without even trying, and instantly cause the biggest possible disaster to happen. Aw, oh, poor Jupiter. It was so pretty, too. And now it's just impossible to put back together ever. Maybe I'm a genius at getting things wrong, too. Ah uh, ha ha. It is absolutely gone forever, Jupiter. I know, but I should have... Jupiter, I promise on a stack of Bibles, it's not your fault, and I will slap your face if you say it was. 
I will punch you in the face for every word you say. I am so for real. You know, fun story. Um, I punched a kid once, and like, it was entirely because I promised him I would. So like, I, I 100% bet that Neptune is, is 100% for real. Ha. Huh. Thank you. I wasn't really going to, I promise. Neptune takes her hand off Jupiter's shoulders. We look around. Jupiter snaps her hairband against her wrist. But for a moment after, it feels like we are holding each other. We can feel the hands, like they're right there in the air. Good. I mean, like, aren't you doing fine? Aren't you trying harder than literally everyone else here? You're so chill about everyone's bullshit, it makes me so mad, and then you won't extend even the slightest of that chill to yourself, and that makes me even so madder. Can't you just be a little less good? I promise to try, at least. Well, sort of. God. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm with you there, Neptune. Uh, sleeping in shifts. Do 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 do. Now, what's the context? Um. Oh, is this a truth and dare thing? Truth and dare time. Let's see, we're on option three. Uh, so it's now, it's it's this time, I think? Yes, yes, it's this time. Fine, you then. Uh, me? Hmm, dare. Seriously? Yeah, is that okay? Your entire camp experience is defined by someone making me you do something awful and you want to pick dare? But you won't, right? Venus. That is the most dangerous thing you have ever said and it explains everything about why terrible stuff happens to you all of the time. Oh. So, do you want to pick something else? Um... But truth is way worse? Truth is just embarrassing, but with a dare you could get hurt, right? See, Jupiter gets it. Would you pick truth too? Absolutely. I don't want to move or do anything, and there's nothing you can think of to ask me that would be embarrassing. God, Neptune is like... Honestly, I completely agree. <laughs> um, yeah, I think truth is like easily the better of the two options, right? Because, like, you don't... I feel like I am fairly truthful. Um, so, I and I am I'm open, right? I don't... Like, I'm not shy, right? If you ask me something that could be embarrassing, I will probably answer it truthfully, right? So truth isn't, like, a hassle. But dare is horrifying, because I don't want to do anything ever. So, like, Neptune is completely right again. Fucking Neptune's great, and I love her. Hmm. I think I still want to pick dare, though. Venus, we get it. You're hiding something. <sighs> I mean, it's kind of like Jupiter said. I mean, it's kind of like Jupiter said. Truth is embarrassing, and dares could get you hurt. Getting hurt is way less scary. Venus, what are you fucking talking about? That's almost pretty clever, but what if I dared you to do something really embarrassing? Well, oh. I could make you wear a skirt, or run around the lake, or call Group South the worst thing you could think of. These are so boring and obvious, too. Think if I had some imagination, Venus. It can get so much worse. Being awful is so trivial, it's easy beyond easy. Should I pick truth then? Tell me who you have a crush on. Uh, tell me who you have a crush on. Love it. What's your worst 
here. Who do you hate the most? See? This is so easy. Get it? I can a cough. I cough a cough. Are you okay? Cough. Ha. It doesn't matter which I pick. You're still at my at their mercy. That is how truth or dare works. It's an exercise in trust. It's a bad game. I'm sorry. I don't know what to. Ugh. You can't just apologize. Wait. I got it. I dare you to not say sorry for the rest of the night. Oh my god. They can do that. Can he though? No, it's perfect. It'll fix something annoying and this will make everyone's life easier and all of us win. Is it really annoying? You shouldn't have to apologize for things you don't need to apologize for. Sorry. Whoops. Ah. So what happens? So what happens now? Nothing, because this game is stupid and sucks and forget it. Sorry. Ugh. Uh. That was on purpose. Jokes? <laughs> ha. Seriously, though, do stop. We get it. Venus apologizes too much. Alright. Um, yeah. It always seems like the sun will never set until we look up and find it already has. The sirens buzz a little louder now. They always buzz louder at night. The devil is weak and humans are strong, and that is the way it always has been. Even a kid can kill the devil. All she has to do is try. That's fun. Zoom! Hmm. Whoa! Look at all these options. Way more options. This option wasn't here before, was it? Um. Well. It's cool to have this option. But, I think we're gonna go this time with... Who are we going with? This one? Yes, this one. Because I have a specific ending planned. And I wanted to hit all the endings, uh, if that wasn't obvious by now. Okay, I'll stay. Are you sure? Yeah, are you really sure? Uh, staying in one place is pretty hard, but I think I'll manage. What? Oh wait, it's a joke. Um, well, now I feel a little bit less confident, but... I know we can't light candles or burn incense without the house catching fire, but I can wrap my radio around the door. And there's no other way in. Okay, if you're sure, then let's go. We're not even going to catch the devil anyway, so let's just get it over with. We leave Venus wrapping his radio around the doorknob. He's good at knots, and he's good at switch boxes, but if he's good at anything else, he's never shown us. Uh, the woods are noisy with insects and frogs. Nothing ever shuts up around here. Nature doesn't care about humans or the devil. But we sometimes think they'd take his side over ours if they got the choice. The world probably resents being nothing more than God's gift to us. Damn. Venus is probably fine. Nah, he's totally going to die. Ugh. Both of you sure have the element of surprise when it comes to telling jokes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh. Are you seriously worried about him? Maybe, a little. He's weird. Not in a bad way, necessarily. But maybe in a bad way, possibly. But maybe in a bad way, possibly. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I don't even know what he is. Do you think he notices how much of a jerk he is sometimes? What? Venus isn't a jerk. Venus is great. I wish. He'll be so great if he leans into it on purpose. He'll be just a bitch if he says like this. If he stays like this. No boy is innocent, or whatever he is. 
Well, we're all stuck together, whatever we are, for the rest of the week. Oh, we could just go now. We could run away right now and never come back and never have to know what happened here. The highway isn't even a mile away. Uh, just kidding. I know you'd never go for that. You say just kidding after a lot of pretty huge things. Would you go for it? No, it's stupid. Summer Scouts is almost over anyway. Some things are just... Some things you just bear with, and then it's over. Ha ha. That's really thoughtful. You don't bear anything quietly, though. Now, why the hell should I? This place is ruining my entire summer, and no one deserves to forget it. God, yeah. This place really is the worst. I'm glad you don't have give me a chance to say yes to any of your bad ideas, haha. -ha. Uh, are you okay? My eyes feel so weird. My skin feels weird. I hate these bugs and this everything. Nothing could be grosser. Thanks, I'm fine. Neptune, we... Uh, never mind. Yeah, let's go back. Oh no! Public safety alert! You, we have, I have to stay home, everybody, because of the coronavirus. Which, like, I already knew, and I was already going to do. But... Oh boy, it's 11 p.m. now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we're almost halfway done with the game, you guys. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we're almost halfway done with the game? And by almost, I mean over. We're over halfway done with the game. <laughs> okay, so now we're on, um... These two? These two. Yes. These two again. Oh yeah, it's the drinking game. Fun. Wait, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Jupiter, you're gonna drink, right? Uh, please don't tell me you're not. I guess. Peer pressure. You're not cool if you don't drink. Oh no, I am falling for this. Look at me. I'm an after school special. You're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Who knows what will happen? Oh, sorry. Look at me. I don't have to say the line again. You know. Okay, okay. Good. Drink that booze. Your face right now. It's not, ugh. It's just so sweet. It'd be easier straight. Wait, this isn't your first time drinking? My dad sometimes gives me a little. And my mom, too, on Sundays. Oh, poor Jupiter. <laughs> oh, no. They're really strict, though. They want me to, like, appreciate it and not do exactly what we're doing and drink horrible shit for the sake of getting drunk. Well, it's too late now. You're corrupted forever, and the only choice is to drink until you are drunk and hungover so you can learn an important lesson about life and peer pressure and whatever. Haha, ha, okay. I will drink to that. Bottoms up, bitch. Ugh. Yep, still bad. Ugh. How do you stand it? You're barely making a face, it's infuriating. Another please. I can't stand it, it's awful. It's unimaginable. Please show me mercy. Another. Are you sure? Um, I'm just gonna read in the corner. Fuck you, take this shot. Ah, uh, oh, oh, boy, I hate this. What is this flavor? Fruit punch? Or is it green apple? Maybe watermelon? I can't believe you're not even tipsy. Your father is incredible. Is he Vin Diesel? Is he Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is he Ernest Hemingway? Are you the love child of Vin Diesel and Ernest Hemingway? <sighs> Neptune's the best. 
Well, he doesn't care for women for long as sentences, if that counts. Ha, huh, that's fucking funny. So you have read a book. I mean, it's not because he's mean or anything. He just doesn't like women. Oh. Oh. Wait, why would he send you here? Uh, sometimes we just do stuff so mom will chill. Haha, ha, your dad is cool. Huh, yeah, he really is. Another? Okay. My dad said that humans may have made alcohol, but the devil gave them the idea. Uh, your dad has never been more right about anything. The worse it tastes, the more evil it makes you, and every kind has its own sort of evil in it. I think alcohol is incredible like that. It's all the same. No, 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 it's so different. It's so different. Like red wine makes you lascivious, but also kind of weepy, and beer makes you lazy, but prepared to yell. Oh yeah? Then what does this make you feel? Hmm. I feel like I want to break a window? Uh, you're right! Fuck! I'm going to throw up on everyone! <laughs> you are not sober. Neither are you, miss. It's written all over your smug, lazy face. I can tell. Ha ha ha. Oh. No, it's true. This is a tragedy. How will my reputation as number one untouchable tomboy prude ever recover? God, don't complain. I get, I got most touchable, and it's not even true. I'm not half as bad as those sluts in Group Southeast. Leave me alone, please. People think you're cool, you know. They are wrong and also jerks. Camp will be over soon, anyways. Assholes. Fuck 'em. Fuck 'em, Jupiter. <laughs> yeah. Let's do another. <sighs> Fine. Ugh. You shouldn't drink so fast. Ugh, no, it's not that. Are you okay? Oh god, I itch. Cough, cough. Uh, Neptune? It's... Okay. I... I... Stop, damn it. Not here. Come, let's go to the bathroom. Don't throw up here. I'm fine. Don't... Uh, cough, cough, cough. Neptune. Don't look. Are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Seriously, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little sick. I can do one more. One more. Disgusting forever. 12 a.m. Fuck off, please. We're finishing this goddamn bottle. Oh yeah, this is all. This is all the same again. All right, we're at. Wait, which option are we on? Right, we're on this option. Okay, so we're going for this one. Yes, seven minutes in heaven. Seven minutes in heaven. Um, so we are here. Yup. Um, why? Because that's the game. I thought you were going to say Neptune, so I... What about Neptune? Why not you? You're safe. You're like a puppy. You're harmless. Did you lose your nerve? Except when you talk. Sorry, I just thought... You're so fluffy, wow. Why do you do that to your hair? Basically, no, what do you do with your hair? Basically, nothing? We're friends too, aren't we? It's not weird. We're friends? See what I mean about except when you talk? Oh, sorry. People call any group of kids friends, even if they were just forced to spend time with each other and actually kind of hate each other though? Jesus, Venus. I don't know what to do with you. I know. That's why I play dumb most of the time. Like about you and Neptune. But I don't want to get in the way. If you were that worried about me and Neptune, that's actually a pretty cool friend thing to do. Haha, 
Does that make you my wingman? Haha, <laughs> I am kidding. That is all jokes. You sure are not like other boys. <sighs> Thank you. It would be a lot easier if I was, though. Thank you. Uh, I finally found a compliment you like. I envy boys a little sometimes, too. Isn't that the good thing about them? That they're easier? A more straightforward sort of evil. Boys hate you to your face, at least. At least you know how they feel about you. People say that a lot. Is it true? Maybe this sounds weird, but... But actually, I don't think the boys are any different. I spend a lot of time with boys, you know? And they're mad to your face, sure, but they're always, always mad about something else too, you know? I don't know how to describe it. They hide what they're mad about by getting mad about something else. And they don't even know it. Like the captain. What's the captain really mad about, you think? I don't know. I thought it must just be being here, like us. But I think that's not everything. What do you think he- I'm- what do you think I'm mad about? You're not mad. What am I then? I don't know. You're lying. You're lying. I, I thought you said you were getting annoyed because I kept talking about it. Uh, that's so right. What about you then? I'm mad about a lot of things, I guess. Liar. You're not mad. You're jealous. Why are you so jealous? It's flattering, but it's weird. I don't know. We're so mean, though. We're mean to you. You aren't at all, and Neptune isn't... I wish I could be meaner. I wish I could be so much meaner. When you are mean, though, it doesn't feel mean. Like you said, we're friends, right? Yeah. You know, you could be a little mean, and we wouldn't care. I don't want to, though. Sometimes you're still mean without meaning to be. I know. I hate it. I'd rather get made fun of than be mean. Hmm. You shouldn't say things like that. Why not? I don't want to. I just don't. I know I'm bad at getting anyone to like me and I'm weird and everyone else can deal even though I can't, but I can't. I'm just going to like this. I'm just going to be like this. I'm not going to be any different. You're asking to get beat up. I don't care, but for real, I said I'm fine. You're frustrating. Uh, Jupiter snaps her hairband. Venus feels something tighten around his neck. Ooh. You, uh, Venus? Venus! Uh, I've got you, I'm, what is this? What, whose hands? Uh, uh. I'm okay. Oh, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay, I'm fine, it's okay, I promise. It's not. It's not okay. Oh, poor Venus. Poor Venus! Zoom! Zoom! Alright, I think this is like the last option right so it's it is now uh there's no time i guess i'm going oh i guess i'm going scream if something horrible happens uh, do the same please as loud as possible Ugh. like that the worst. Try harder or I won't save you next time. Haha, ha, see you guys later. She's okay, I guess. She's okay, I guess. What's hap- Oh, another public safety alert. Santa Clara County Health Shelter in Place Order. <laughs> uh, I guess this is the fucking Corona episode. Jesus Christ. Shelter in place, everyone. Like, actually, though, please shelter in place. Like, I know that you're you're hearing this all the time. You don't even need to say it. But, like, seriously, this is a big deal. I mean, it might... Hopefully, it's less of a big deal when this episode comes out. But it'll probably still be a big deal. So, fucking whatever. Did that mean you like her? 
just work on the radio. Oh, um, is that a no? Are you trolling me on literal purpose? A little. Wow, Venus, I am almost impressed. You are, deep down, kind of a little shit. I didn't mean it in a mean way. I wasn't teasing. That's so much worse, Venus. I guess I just don't get it. I don't like being mean, I don't want to be mean, so I'll try hard not to be mean. I don't get any of the just kidding, because it's not just kidding. It's just mean. Does it really not bother you when everyone is mean to you? No. I couldn't care less. They are all just simply bad at it. What are they going to make fun of me for? I dare you to answer that question. No, I wasn't going to say anything. Seriously, you totally can, though. I'm an evil bad slut, right? I'm a bitch and a flirt. I'm a bitch- What? <laughs> no, not, not you, Siri. I'm a bitch because I let people know when they walk over me. I'm a flirt because boys keep talking to me. And this is somehow my problem because they can't get over themselves and leave me alone? How is that fair? Why should I get hurt by that? It makes me so mad. Why would I be anything but mad about all this stupid obnoxious bullshit? Oh, I get it? Yeah, I think so. I feel like I shouldn't get mad though. Like you're supposed to turn the other cheek? You ever think people who love to say that just love slapping people? God, Neptune, you're the best, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but you don't have to be like that, you know. You're the only boy here I can stand. So I guess keep doing whatever it is that lets you stay that way. Thanks. You too. Oh boy. Here it is. Den end of the route, right? Uh, it's done. No, it's done. Well, shall we tune in on God? Whatever. We could also try calling the captain. We could also try calling the captain again. Hmm, yeah, we could. Just stop. I said I didn't care. Just go ahead. Calling will absolutely make everything worse. It always does. If there was any chance the devil wouldn't come, God will ruin it. But who cares? Of course the devil is coming tonight. So do it. We arrange our radios in a circle. We hold on to a length of the copper wire. We feel like we're part of a Christmas display. We pray. We don't really need to pray to it. Sorry, I'm just so used to it. I start hearing it in my head as soon as we start, every time. Right? It just pops in my head. <sighs> Same, it's fine, I'm just saying. We hold hands. We're looking for the signal. We can tell the difference between God and the devil. Finding God is pretty easy. He's 109.8 FM. <laughs> Uh, the devil is never on the same frequency, but you sometimes hear a bit of him by accident when you're changing channels. But by the time we find God, he's already talking. He never says for those just listening. He expects attentiveness. Oh shit, what was my God voice? Um... Shining as Lucifer, the morning star in the dawn, and symbolizing the arrogance of desiring a beauty that is not God's. Venus 523, that which appears to be within grasp and yet is never. God sounds like every boy you are afraid of talking at once. Oh. Of the vanity to be seen and to see, the human eye sees clearly by the light of God, but the devil by his own light, and thus sees only his own truth, the meaning of the parable. What a waste of time. Shh, let's listen. Whatever. Each of you shall choose. It is certain that the devil is coming. Oh no. It is certain. I told you. It is absolutely certain the devil is already here. Uh, parable 1-1. One, one. The devil is only the shadow of man cast from the light of God. The meaning of this parable is that there is no devil. The weather is scheduled for 100 with humidity tomorrow. And now, for the news! And Jupiter shuts off the radio. I don't want to do this. We should have called the captain. 
What would have- what would he have even done, even? What would he have done, even? Something else? It's okay, it's not the end of the world. It's not like being the devil means you're going to die. No, being the devil- the devil just happens. Don't pity me. It'll be the end of something. It's me. Don't pity me. Uh, here it comes. Here it comes. We know the devil. The fire the fireflies are out tonight. So many were afraid. We feel a little like we wish we could get away, just for a little while, to some place that's not this shack. If the devil wasn't here, then something, there is something that could happen. It's the only thing in the world we want to do. We need to go. It's too late. The devil's here, just like on the radio. This place is awful. It's just making everything worse. We should get out of here. We need to get out of here. The captain won't let us. Screw, screw him. Why do we have to deal with this? Why is this our problem? It's stupid. This is on purpose. There's no reason to come out to these stupid woods. I can't believe I came here like we actually deserved it. What did they think was going to happen? Neptune. It's... It will be okay. Okay? I think. Thanks. Haha. <laughs> I tried. Sort of. Ah, <laughs> No, I actually... What was that? Out the window, where Venus was pointing, there was a light like a flashlight. But it is not a flashlight. What is it? Jupiter goes to the window to see. And this time it's true. We can see it too. We know we should stay. We should just get it over with here, where it's easiest. It'll be better for him too, but... We should go. Seriously, God, yes. We shouldn't. I mean, it's one of- isn't one of us supposed to stay here? There's a light inside now. It doesn't do anything. It just wanders. It passes over Neptune and she shivers. Screw this. No waiting. N now. And we run. First it's left. Then it's right. Then it's both behind and ahead of us. It's like running from every firefly. It's like running from street lights. It's like running from the sun. And they want him so bad. Come on, come on, we're almost there. You're okay, right? Right? Y yeah. They hate street lights. We should have run for the road. I know. I'm not mad, okay? But I was fucking right. So if we die, you're not allowed to be mad. <laughs> that's... that's fair. Jupiter trips. It's 100% her fault. She's not even upset. She holds Venus under her as she hits the dirt. Are you okay? Yeah. Jupiter leaps up and pulls Venus and crashes directly into the ground again. Her foot hurts so bad she almost screams. No, 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 no. You're okay, aren't you? Please, don't be doing this stupid thing. This is not happening and not real. Sorry. Oh god, fuck. It's super bad. Neptune holds Jupiter's hand so tight. It's probably going to be fine. Fuck you. Venus stands up. The lights flicker. Why? Why are you protecting me? Why won't you let me? Why can't you just let it have me? Why won't you go on without me? Why won't you? I don't want to be strong. I don't want to be that sort of person at all. The light's on the edge of my eyes. I want to see them so much. They're so horrible, I can't look away. I want them within and without me, all through and about me. I want feathers in my lungs and eyes on my skin. I want my heart to see and my lungs to fly. I want to undo the divisions of day and night. I want to cast light over the city and shine shadows where the street lights used to be. You're, gonna, you're going to say I shouldn't give up, and there's hope, and we can all get through this. Please, don't. And that's not a lie, but... Venus, no, get a grip. Stop. I promise I won't... It's nobody's fault but mine. Jupiter holds Neptune. For a second, it looks like the light is lifting him up. Like he's going... Like he's going up to the Jeremiah. Like Jeremiah. It's exactly what we imagined. 
We're so glad we're together now, but it still feels wrong. Stop for a second and let us figure it out. For we don't deserve to get out with no regrets. We are ready and we can see the way out. It's right there, right through there. Hey. Oh, I missed the. God damn it. I missed the previous. Uh, what was the line? Uh, Venus is a suffocation of air and light, a Midwest summer sun so punishing it feels like a dream, a summer that never ends as hell. Nothing could be worse than being hot and sticky and surrounded by people who vaguely hate you forever, a wet, timeless nightmare of cloudy light. Venus reaches out to us. She has eyes to fly with and wings to see, as terrible as an angel but afraid that wing to see the truth and that eye to lay it bare. We feel the heat in our skin and recoil. It wants something from us, a lot of things, maybe everything. The devil is lonely. We kicked out the devil and it must miss us. It keeps begging to let, to be let back, to let it in. And Venus did. Every wish of the eyes belongs to it. Nothing can escape this light, but we do. We can't feel the beat of the wings or the light of the eyes. We can't be seen. We choose to cover our faces. And the devil only ever gets one moment. For revenge, for love, for please see me. But there is nothing to fear when there is two against the devil. Neptune brings the water. Her radio cackles and bubbles and foams as its sharpest edge. Jupiter brings the storm. Her radio blares and shrieks in the weight of its shudders. Our radios scream and crash against her, and the devil is destroyed. Uh, so, trans Venus confirmed, y'all. We're on the second highest branch, so we can see everyone, but no one can see us. Everyone else is climbing around the sirens, checking if we can get them any louder in the daylight. Good job, kiddo. Uh, Venus hangs from the highest branch he can. Steam peels off him. Oh no! Nothing we can do about that but let it blow into the wind. A little bit of the devil always gets away. Neptune crushes a leaf in her fingers. Jupiter holds her other hand, like we need to. <sighs> How much longer do we have? Until it's all gone, prob- uh, Yeah, until it's all gone, probably. All day? If we're lucky. Good. Neptune checks her phone, but it's out of batteries. I'm so tired. Me too. Don't be tired. If I fall asleep, who's going to stop me from falling? I don't know. I guess we're both going to die. Ha ha. I promise I won't actually, though. Good. Otherwise, I'll die, right? Right. Is your leg okay? Yeah, so don't let me fall either. <laughs> okay. So say if Venus falls, I'll catch him and then you'll catch me? I'll totally try, but I think we'll definitely all die if that happens. In that case, you shouldn't then. I shouldn't, but I probably totally would. Wouldn't I be so cool, like a real hero? <laughs> you totally would. It'd be funny. Not sweet at all. We lean on each other, and we wait. Well, uh, that's that's the other, that's the second ending of We Know the Devil. Uh, sorry for this episode going long. Uh, actually, I'm not sorry. I decided to do it, so why would I apologize? Anyways, uh, next time we will go for um, another ending, and then maybe also the true ending in that episode since this episode went on for so long um though probably also not we'll see you know what we'll see thank you guys for watching uh stay safe stay happy you know be gay do crimes bye <laughs>